Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande, would like to welcome you all in this interesting video, which is Eye Problems in General Medical Practice. Myself is Professor Dr. Aral Deshpande, and you are welcome in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. I am MD in Ayurvedic Medicine and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology. My WhatsApp number for communication 9226810630. And this video will be included in the Shalakya Tantra as well as in the allopathic and Ayurvedic treatments for the diseases. Okay. So today we are going to see some important two diseases in a very small and sweet manner. What, why the sweet? Because it is very easy to understand. Okay. So we are going to discuss about the eye problems that is sty and chalice yawn. Okay. Look, let us start with the problem like eye problems. So the structure, can you see over here? This is like a camera. So we grasp the vision by this particular lens. This is a camera lens. And the light rays comes through this particular cornea, which is a transparent, enters into the eye and on the retina, it gets the photosensitive cells that is rods and cones. Then this current, this information is carried to the brain through this optic nerve. And here on the back side of your head, there are centers, main switch, 17, 18, and 19 numbers, where actually we can understand the object color and size and shape and all these things. That is the vision function of eye. Oh, this is just to know how our eye looks like. Okay. So we are discussing many uh, problems in the GP with relation to the eye. Like, for example, sty, chalazion, blepharitis, conjunctivitis, spring catar, acute decreases. But today, today in this video, there will be small discussion on the sty in Marathi. It is called as a Ranganwadi, and also there will be discussion on Chalazion. Also, we will discuss further in senile another video: senile cataract, corneal ulcer, xerosis, and bitot spots. Okay. So, what is sty? Sty is an infection of hair follicles of the eyelid. Okay. So here you can see this is my eyelid and here you can see the hair. I am going to show you the picture also. But at the root of the hair, there is a hair follicle and that is the infection that is called as a sty. So red painful swelling will be there on the eyelid margin. On the margin, it will be there for four to five days duration. Diffuse swelling of the eyelid. Swelling may ripen and drain automatically, spontaneously. But in the sty, there is a problem of recurrence where you can take the help of Ayurvedic medicines as well to avoid the recurrence. Repeated, repeated again and again. after every two months, you get the problem of the sty. Their main reason may be dandruff in your uh, head or the hair, and also there may be refractive error. You must check your eye vision with the ophthalmologist if there is a recurrence of the sty. So here, here you can see a picture. Actually, is a lead margin. These are the hairs. And this is the infection of the hair follicles. Okay. So, what you have to do at home, just hot compress or hot fermentation. This will help for ripening of that particular thing. Okay. Then ex externally, Ciplox eye drops four times in a day. QID means 8 a.m., 12 noon, 4 noon, and after 8 p.m. Okay. And internally also, there should be antibiotic, capsule cephalexin. I am going to give you the uh, links to purchase online of these medicines. If your doctor prescribes you, I am not suggesting self-medication, but if your doctor prescribes these medicines and where to buy, just make a click on the particular link and you will get the medicines at your home. Okay. Capsule cephalexin, 500 milligram tablets, four times in a day, QID. If pus points at the lead margin, the doctor will pull out the hair to drain the pus. Okay. If pus point on the skin of the lead on the upper side, then in size, doctor will take a small incision, horizontal incision. This question is very important for the students because it is always asked in the examination how the incision for the star is taken, whether it is horizontal or it's vertical. It's not vertical. It is always horizontal. Don't forget this particular point. Okay. Next, we will discuss about chalazion. There is a difference in the star and chalazion, but the many students, they get confusion. Okay. Because this is a painless, sty was painful. This is a hard swelling on the eyelid at some distance from the lead margin. It is not on the lead margin. It is away from the lead margin. Don't get confused with the style. This is a chronic inflammation, not infection. Chronic inflammation of meibomian glands. Are you understanding the difference in style and chalazion? Okay. 
So this is not on the lead margin. Here lead margin is separate. This is on the I lead. Yes, I agree. This is hard, but painless. Okay. Here you can see normal meibomian gland, and here you can see the chalazion of the meibomian gland. Okay. Small chalazion of small duration, just fomentation, warm compress, followed by the gentle massage and antibiotic eye drops like Ciplox eye drops. Moderate size chalazion, then doctor, ophthalmologist, general practitioner may try intralegional in that node steroid injection. Large size chalazion of long duration, then there is no alternative to do R and D, that is incision and drain out that matter. Okay. Local injection of chalazion, how it is given? First, give the injection xylocaine, that is anesthesia on the skin surface of the area surrounding the chalazion. Wait for two minutes just to get the anesthetic effect. Then give the injection triamcinolone or kinacord only 0.2 ml inside the chalazion from the conjunctiva surface with an insulin syringe. This is interesting. The students must note this point because if you are clever, if you are being asked the uses of insulin syringe, then if you tell this additional effect, additional benefit that this insulin syringe can be used to give the intralegional chalazion injection, you will get more marks. Okay. So this injection may, may be repeated after one minute if swelling does not disappear. Okay. This is all about style and chalazion, my dear friends. This is the educational video. Don't do any self-medication. Disclaimer and vaidhani kishara. Okay. So so, if you are having some problems like cerebral palsy, arthritis, MND, cancer, ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorders in the children, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura because of the anemia and repeated blood transfusions you require, any such type of chronic disease or autoimmune diseases, Dr. Deshpande in his Ayurveda Academy, there are a lot of expert doctors in the different field, gynecologists, pediatricians, ophthalmologists, ENT specialists, physicians, Ayurvedic Vaidyas and all the team is there. So you can definitely contact to us by WhatsApp 9226810060. I request that if you like my videos, then don't forget to make thumbs up and also share this video. And also please, please, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell button icon to get the intimation of these interesting videos. Uh, we will repeat all these different diseases, we are going to make a series of eye problems in general medical practice. Today we have discussed only stand challenge. Okay. I wish you all the best and take care and bye-bye.